What is going on everybody and welcome to another video. Thank you all for those who have been joining, watching, leaving comments. It's been a freaking blessing. I'm excited about this and I'm and I'm excited that I'm able to do these types of videos. If you're new to the video, mm, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified on new videos that are to come. I'm pretty excited. I just got back from from doing some video work in Hawaii with a company, Vega Fit Recovery. They're the number one mobile pain control company in Hawaii. They are a freaking dope company. So if you're in that area, go check them out. Um, that was a blast. I got some videos on that coming up pretty soon. There's some, you know, promo clips going out on my Instagram and social outlets and stuff like that. Uh, but with that being said, today, I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about the new iPad Pro M1. I've been waiting for this thing for a while and you'll see why. Let's get into it. Right, everyone wow so I got the iPad Pro M1 right here I haven't opened it yet um, this is I'm gonna be opening it for the first time with you all you know what I brought my handy dandy unboxing knife but because Apple has such a good packaging process I forgot about this you just go like this bingo no need for the unboxing knife but I'm opening it up with you right now and I'm freaking like so excited about this one because it's actually something that I've been wanting um, Apple to do for a while so oh my god wait 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 wait, wait. oh my god There's something about Apple packaging that is just like so good. The way they wrap. Wow, look at this. Look at this. All right, this is the iPad. I'm pretty anal with my stuff, so bear with me. I like to keep all my, even, even this wrapper, I like to keep it to just you know, put it away or whatever. But people get cases. Don't judge me. Um, wow, this is the 11.9 inch, 120, 128 gigabytes. Um, if you saw my, my, my other video of the iPad Air, it looks just like it, right? Um, if you saw my iPad Air video, I, I talked about like, you know, why I like the iPad Air as well, what features it had compared to, you know, the iPad Pro. And for the price and you know I gave you that information there but and then I saw the M1 and I said oh my goodness I got to get my hands on this because the M1 is interesting and I'm gonna let you know but we get the normal you know packaging here from iPad their booklet instructions all that all that all that jazz so if you need if you're the person that likes to read every little thing I don't got time for that. But if you have time for that, go ahead, enjoy it. You get the brick, USB type C, USB type C brick. And like always, they actually give you the, the cable, um, except for the iPhones, but the iPads, they give you the cable, the USB C to C um, cable. So there we have it. Let's get into this, you know, unboxing experience right here because this is where where the good stuff is, right? So let's let's put this to the side. Let's hold this. Let's take this, all right? We got the new iPad Pro M1. The image in the front is different. That's how you know it's it's the M1, the one that has this um, image on the front because the box just says iPad. It just says iPad Pro, um, but it doesn't say M1. So you actually have to look at it through the um, the serial number to 
you know, be able to identify it. But this is this is the iPad, bro. This is the iPad Pro M1. Um, if you've been following with Apple, the M1 is their new um, silicon um, chip that they made. So they're no longer using Intel chips. They're using their own M1 chip that they've developed. Eight cores um, GPU, eight cores CPU. Um, and it's amazing. So I have also the M1 MacBook Pro. Now, when they came out with this one, the iPad Pro M1, I was like, wait a second, this is pretty much my laptop inside of an iPad. Now, if you follow anything on technology, right? Microsoft created the Surface. It's a tablet, but a built-in laptop kind of inside. It has a full-blown, you know, OS in there. iPad, I don't know what, you know, what iPad was doing and what Apple was doing. Um, what's taking them so long to actually put a full blown Mac OS on an iPad. So this M1, I'm excited about it because this is their actually, you know, open door for me, for them to actually put in an, a full blown Mac OS on this because it's running their same chip. So I wouldn't be surprised if Apple starts to release, uh, softwares that are, were made for the MacBook pros on an iPad, which would be so dope, which is the reason why I end up, you know, pulling the trigger on this one and looking forward to get the M1 because I know that it can be a potential uh, open door, like I said, to new softwares and stuff like that, that iPad um, OS wasn't able to handle before. But I believe that I, Apple is in the right direction right now when it comes to this. It's when it came to pro features, I'm telling you, um, the iPad Pro wasn't what I was looking for into pro features, but they did, you know, now launch the type C on here. It comes in four speakers, two on the bottom, two on the top, or however you're holding it, one on the left, one on the right side of it. Um, it has the magnetic, uh, strip here for the pencil, the Apple pencil, first generation, and second generation, if I'm not mistaken, the iPad Air, right, the latest one that I was able to, to unbox and review, um, was capable, oh, actually, you know what, it was capable of, of holding both the iPad uh, Pencil 1 and 2. Um, it has your, you know, up and down, you know, volume up and down buttons here, your power button right on the top, has your front-facing camera, it has the, the pro camera that it has in the back, which is a plus because the iPad Air didn't have this pro camera. Um, and that was pretty much the difference between the iPad Air and the previous iPad Pro. Um, when it comes to pro, I think Marcus Brownlee did, you know, a perfect review on explaining it when he talked about, you know, pro features. Like, you know, all these companies are doing pro iPad Pro, iMac Pro. Um, you know, iPhone Pro and all these Pro features, but then when you uh, look at them, like, you're like, where are all the Pro features that the word Pro should have, right? So this one to me is a Pro. Got the USB Type-C port in the bottom. It has the M1 chip, which is a full-blown, you know, MacBook Pro chip that's made by Apple. And it's like, it got the front facing, you know, um, uh, facial recognition camera in the front. The only thing it doesn't have is the fingerprint, right? And I always look forward to the fingerprint because all other companies are doing it. They actually have the built-in fingerprint on the screen, plus they give you facial recognition. I have no idea why Apple is not giving you both. Um, if you do like the fingerprint recognition, leave a comment on there. Let me know, you know what I'm saying? If, if you do, I'm just curious to see how many people like the, the, the fingerprint uh, recognition versus the facial recognition. Um, but here it is, people. This is the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro, it's compatible also. If you see the, the little three magnetic uh, strips here, you can see it right here. It has that for the iPad um, Magic Keyboard. It's compatible with the Magic Keyboard, which is good. 
Um, they didn't change it up or do anything different with that. So that's a big plus as well, Apple. We're getting somewhere. Um, but here it is. This is the unboxing of the iPad Pro M1. Um, I'll give, let, let, let me see if I can power this baby on. There it is. I'm, I'm so excited about this. I'll give you my in-depth review on the features, the softwares and stuff like that, um, maybe on another video. But I just wanted to unbox it with you all because it was, it was something I've been waiting for for a while. Like I said, I was waiting for a while. Not the M1 per se, because I obviously didn't know about the M1. But I'm just saying that Apple releasing an iPad that, that can potentially have a full-blown Mac OS in it. So if they added the M1 chip in here, which is the same chip that Apple uh, MacBook Pros are using now, the latest ones, um, if it's capable of running a MacBook Pro laptop, I wouldn't be surprised that the iPad Pro M1 would be capable of running the exact same things. Hola, here we are, we are. it's in it, it's opened up. I'm gonna set it up. Uh, for the first time, United States, okay, I like to, I like to set up my iPads manually because after a while, I don't know if you're that type of person, you get so many apps on your iPhones and your iPads that when it's time to upgrade is, is when I usually take the time to just go over what I need and what I don't need. So I don't know if you're that type of person too that you just download tons of apps and you start using them, whatever, and then within a month you stop using those apps and then you get a new iPad and you're like, you know what, let me start from scratch. So if you're also one that starts from scratch, let me know in your comments there so I can see. I love to see statistics and, and, and what people are doing, what people are not doing. Um, but like I said, this is the M1 MacBook Pro. It just looks like the iPad Air, to be honest. But I wanna see on performance and I wanna do all that, all that good stuff. The speakers, I can't wait to hear how it sounds, having speakers from both left and right. Hopefully when I start doing a review on it, the in-depth review, I think Apple M1 was also having the uh, Adobe Atmos built in, which gives you that surround sound um, type of system. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to set this up and then hopefully I'll give you another video on a full in-depth review on what I think about it. If it's worth it, how the camera is, look at that, I almost broke this thing. How the camera is, um, the front and the rear how the performance is on, on just using it overall. And hopefully by the time I do that video, there'll be some apps added to here that you could only get on the MacBook Pro. Um, I'm super excited about it. This is my M1. This is the MacBook Pro M, uh, the iPad Pro M1 full unboxing. And it's right here, man. Just looks so cool. This iPad Pro is at a reasonable price, right? Because now, if you were to compare an iPad Pro to a MacBook Pro, you're definitely cutting that price in half. If you're willing to grab an iPad and wait for the long run um, to see what apps are gonna be put onto this, be my guess, go for that. Um, if you wanna save some money versus buying a MacBook Pro and you wanna, you know, try it out, listen, or just wait for my review. How about that? I'll let you know uh, the comparison between this and a MacBook Pro. Um, but that's all for today. This is my unboxing experience with the iPad Pro M1. I'm super excited, can't wait to mess around with it and play with it and get it all loaded up. So thanks again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this little video clip of just me opening up this MacBook Pro. Um, what is going on with me? iPad Pro M1. I'm just, I guess I'm just super excited as to, you know, messing around with this thing. So there it is. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. New content is coming out every week. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment on there, engage with me. Let me know what you wanna see. Let me know if there's other you know, unboxings that you want me to see. Let me know if you want me to review something specifically. Um, and there it is. That's all I have for today. So that's all folks. Abadi, abadi, abadi. That's all folks. And like with every video, 
Never settle with being good when you have been meant to be great. Later. Later.